think he's almost like an icon in the industry, especially in ship management. But he established the first real third-party ship management company. He was a pioneer in that respect, and he has shown the way for many others. He's the face to the Norwegian shipping community in the early days, and he's a very important resource person to the Norwegian shipping community. I think he's, a, he's of course a very good businessman. I know he's a very good husband and father, and I think we can all learn from that. He has actually uh, managed to bring up the whole standard of ship management services in Singapore. He has been through the ups and downs more than 35 years in this business. But he has had strong determination to succeed and he has succeeded. He shares with me a lot about uh, the thinking of the Norwegian shipping community um, and that provides very useful insights for us to uh, come up with programs. I hate to say it, but he's probably found all the things in the Norwegian ship and he would like to change and he managed to do it here in Singapore. He has attracted uh, many fellow countrymen you know, from his country to come here to set up various shipping services. So I think he made a big difference. Uh, it would not be where he is unless he had really strong focus on delivering high quality service to his customers. And he has such a warm personality He's very helpful and he's gentle and I like the way he greets me each time when he sees me with his cheery, hello, how are you? His energy, I think it's uh, re remarkable, I was about to say, a man of his age, that would sound very rude. I think it's uh, remarkable he has so much energy and uh, sometimes uh, you look yourself in the mirror a little bit and say that uh, we, can all, we can all do more. As, as you know, the Vikings was Norwegians. It's in my blood. It's, it has been in my family for hundreds of, of, of years. So it was quite natural that I also continue in the shipping industry. Well, I was working for a Norwegian owner, and in the early, in, actually I come to Singapore first time in 1971 for dry docking of one of his ships at Zimbabwean shipyard. When I closed my eyes, looking for Western Anchorage into the town, was one tall building, Asia Insurance Building, 16 or 70 floors high. That was the landmark at that time. The Singapore anchorage was quite busy with uh, discharging cargoes over to the bamboo boats, which was then brought into the boat quay. And the boat quay was a very, very hectic place where the cargo was taken ashore into trucks. We, we was working on, on telegrams and uh, it took two days before you get the reply. <laughs> During the last 15, 16 years, with the help of MPA and the government, it's, they have also been developed to an international maritime center. Singapore and Norway fit well together. Norway with the large international fleet, and Singapore with one of the world leading ports. And Singapore have always been an important center for Norwegian shipping. Looking forward, I think that Singapore and Norway will develop that relationship even further because Singapore will be used by Norwegian companies as a platform to develop more business in Asia. Olaf, my heartiest congratulations on a well-deserved award and I wish you happiness always. I would like to congratulate you with this, uh, this award. I think it's uh, well deserved and, and well done. Uh, on behalf of DNV and all my many colleagues who have worked with you for so many years, uh, congratulations again. Olaf, congratulations, well done. And uh, please don't retire, keep working because you are still as young as you look. <laughs>